If you need to merge, split, rotate or edit pages in PDF documents in Linux, I will show you the best open source tool to do that. The program is called PDFSum and it is available in three different versions. One is PDFSum Basic, this is what is available for Linux and it is usually available in all Linux distributions in the default repositories. There is PDFSum Enhance, which is only Windows version, and there is also PDFSum Visual. This is a version for Linux with some premium features. So let's install PDFSum Basic and have a look what is available in free standard version. Download it. Save the file. Now if I go to my download folder, I can see the Debian package here. I will open terminal in this location. Of course, you can also install this package simply with the software center. You can try to do that, but if any error happens, it will be not that easy to track. So I will show you the terminal way, which is more reliable. You type sudo dpkg with option i and the name of the package. Enter, type your password. And the program is installed, as you see, there are no errors in my case. Close the terminal and let's open it through the menu. So this is the program, it looks very really nice. You can see all the available features right here. You can split, merge, mix, rotate, split PDF documents by bookmarks, extract specific pages from a PDF and also split pages by size. These are some premium features which come in the PDF sum visual version of this program, which is not open source and require license. I won't cover these features in this video. So let's just have a look how it works. And split and merge are probably the most frequently used features, personally for myself, so I will show you how to split PDF documents. I click here, and next I need to select file which I want to split. And in my case I have downloaded this English manual for Linux Mint. I will open it, and I can decide how I want to split. I can split by every page, only even pages, odd pages. I can split also after a specific page, or split after, after a specific number of pages, for example every 5 pages. But for this tutorial I will use a simple scenario where I will split after the second page, for example. The file is located in my downloads folder and I will also put the output there. And here you can define what kind of prefix you want to use for the output files. I think PDF sum is a reasonable choice. Next I just click run and I agree to overwrite any files if there are already output files. So now if I go to my downloads folder, you can see this is the original file. Let's open it just to show you. So this is Linux Mint Guide. And as you can see it's pretty big, it has 52 pages. And what we have asked PDFSum to do is to split it into two documents. And you can see number one, this is the first part of this PDF document. It contains two pages because we requested PDFSum to split this PDF document after the second page. And if I open the second part of this document, you can see it starts from the third page here. Actually it is also pretty easy to see here because the file name also starts with number 3. And you can of course split it into many other pages. But what if you want to merge these two PDF files together? Again you go to the merge menu, place these two files here, here you can define the order how you want to merge them. For example, in this case you can see we have a wrong order here. We need to move this file to the top. I move it. Now it will be merged together and the original file will be recreated. Here are some options. You can check them if you need them, but usually all the default options work fine. I just press run. And now these two files are merged into this file. If I open it, 
you can see it has 52 pages and it has been merged to recreate the original file. As you can see, the program is very easy to use and it is very fast. You can also of course explore the other options of this program. They all are pretty intuitive to use. If you know a better PDF editor for Linux, let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching.